All right, what's going on, Hell Divers? Willis here. We are back with another video today. Some exciting news. We could potentially be seeing a crossplay coming between Xbox and PlayStation. We're going to be talking about that in this video. But if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Most of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed, and I hate to keep nagging you guys, but we are so close to 700,000 subscribers. We're posting a ton of Hell Divers content. So if you guys like the game Hell Divers, we're covering a ton of it. But with that being said as well, we are giving away copies of the game as well as the new war bond that's in the game, the Democratic Detonation. So if you want a chance to win that, just like the video and leave a comment. That's it. So enough blabbering. Let's jump into the video. So we're going to have to fight these soon, aren't we? So I did mention this in one of my previous videos, but basically these are the, I guess, the husks of, I guess, the war from 100 years ago, the hive lords, the hive beasts. Um, if you guys play Helldivers 1, I'm pretty sure they were in that game and yeah these are basically the remnants of that and yeah someone says we're going to be fighting these soon but yeah there was some leaked files of this uh hive lord actually found so we don't know when uh arrowhead just sort of like popping up these creatures out of nowhere just like we saw with the the flying terminids we could just get these guys just pop up from underneath the ground at any point um quick thing to note as well someone did mention in the replies that yeah we probably won't be fighting these guys but maybe like an evolved version which kind of makes sense and i'm kind of excited and terrified at the same time so i'm not really sure who the creator of this mod is but someone has gone ahead and basically modded in the hell diver uh into one of the batman games um probably one of the best batman games of all time way ahead of its time i love this game and it looks hilarious not only have they just edited them in to the i guess the cinematic and the sort of little mini intro cutscene, they've also edited them in just beating up some gangsters on the streets and oh my god does it look awesome yeah they got absolutely destroyed for democracy oh god i, I just love the helldivers community so much we're flying blind, Helldivers. So they actually put out an announcement in the official Discord, basically saying during the ongoing attack on Vernon Wells, the Automaton's Horde have managed to knock out our long-range communication arrays, allowing us to track our forces across the galaxy. That means that unfortunately we'll, we'll be unable to provide updates to liberation percentage and ongoing galactic war progress for the foreseeable future. Super Earth High Command have dispatched the expert CEAF engineering teams under the protection of the Helldivers to repair these arrays as soon as possible. In the meantime, errors and incomplete data may be displayed on the destroyer system and tracking software. Continue the fight. Now, I just kind of think that this is an excuse that we're going to fail um, the current order that we have, the major order. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what's happening with that. So a few days ago as well, they did mention that there was going to be this thing called the supply line um i guess visualization where it would basically show the supply lines and sort of help with the narrative that when they keep posting this in the discord and on the twitter so there's something happening that they're trying to like implement that is breaking the game so yeah hey divers did you know the game released a little bit over three months ago yes it's been almost over yeah three months of hell divers too how insane is that for some reason my brain thought that the game released like last month but it's almost been like three months now. The game came out February 8th. Isn't that just insane? And it is still constantly bringing in over 200,000 players a day actively playing. How crazy is that? I really thought by now the game would have just fell off a bit, a tiny bit, but it has just maintained. And I think that's what the special thing is with live service games is, yeah, people just keep coming back every day to check what's new. And I love it. Was this guy dropped with the hell bomb? I've seen this a few times now. This is probably the most unluckiest dude ever. Now, either this guy dropped and got killed on the impact with the unactivated hell bomb, or yeah, he basically just died right next to a hell bomb. Either way, this guy is just unlucky as hell. All right, I wanted to show you guys this super quick PSA for the Pelican gunship. And so many people don't know this. Now, I did this pretty much all the time. I would just call in the uh, extraction and then i would basically go and collect samples so obviously go and finish the main objectives on a mission and then basically what you want to do is you want to call in the extraction now once you call in the extraction you obviously want to leave the area once you leave the area basically what the pelican one uh, gunship will do is it will stay in the area and basically just kill everything around you especially 
if you're on a automaton mission so if there's any gunships or bot drops coming in then yeah it'll shoot down the ships so you basically need to leave the extraction zone at 000 before the pelican arrives and what will happen is it will go into like this sort of like hovering and yeah it will stay airborne now you have to keep in mind that if your teammates go over to the um extraction point it will land so no hell divers need to be at the extraction zone and the extraction beacon has to be present obviously there yeah it will basically just stay uh, around the area area just hovering and basically just destroying enemies like i said it's it's really good especially if you're on like automaton missions when you get these stupid bots just calling in reinforcements um but yeah look you can see falcon one has got you covered and we'll basically just start shooting at the gunships isn't that just great um as well it gives you some cover when you finally decide to leave from collecting all of your juicy juicy samples so yeah just a quick psa if you guys are not aware now it might not work if you guys are playing in like a random squad but if you're definitely with your teammates um try this out because look at the actual range of the pelican it's nuts it will basically shoot almost across part of the map um 100 meters exactly so bear in mind, the ship will land permanently if Helldivers enter the extraction zone or the extraction beacon retracts. So so yeah, stay out of the area if you want the uh, the ship to help you. What kind of shrooms did my Helldiver take? I have no idea what happened here, but this guy's game absolutely glitched out completely. Look at all of those Helldiver ships. He basically turned into the ship himself and flew across the entire planet and just bounced off the ground. What the heck happened there? I've never seen that before. This is my favorite thing I've seen all day. But yeah, check this out. This is the Warhammer 40k armor. Oh my god. Someone has done the incredible job here. Sort of done like a reskin of one of the Space Marines. And yeah, look at this guy. The black and yellow. Libertas non dormit. I think that says. Somebody translate that. I think that's like... I'm not, I don't even know what that is. But yeah, you've got the Helldivers logo on the side. The Helldivers logo all over here. Look at it. It looks amazing. If this was like a heavy armor in the game, this is the only collaboration that makes sense in Helldivers. I know they mentioned that they're only going to do collaborations with stuff that makes sense, stuff that will fit into Helldivers. Warhammer 40k fits into Helldivers. Can we just get all of the Warhammer 40k collabs? I think that would be actually insane. So this person has figured out the new meta to basically one shot chargers. It's super simple. All you need to do is find yourself a charger, make sure it's running at you pretty quick, turn around and shoot it in the face with a quasar cannon. And if aimed correctly, your charger will turn into a designated missile and destroy any Bile Titan that you want. Yes, pretty easy. It's, it's not really easy to do. It's probably extremely difficult. Now to the meat and potatoes of this entire video. So Sony is allegedly in preliminary talks to bring Helldivers 2 to Xbox Series X and S. So me, myself, I used to be in like an avid Xbox Xbox gamer. That's pretty much where I started my YouTube channel. Um, I eventually moved to PlayStation and then to PC. Um, I still own both consoles, but I know there's still a lot of players who still play on consoles. And if they were to bring Helldivers 2 to xbox i think it would just turbo launch the game even further now i know there's like 200,000 players on pc just from checking steam every day there's obviously more than that playing on playstation so for xbox to be added to this would be absolute insanity so sony interactive entertainment is in preliminary talks to bring arrowhead game studios cooperative third person shooter held over to to the xbox series x um, based on the latest rumor, speaking during the latest episode of the Xbox Era podcast, co-host Spetzel Nick mentioned that there are some very early discussions going on regarding the possibility of Helldivers 2 being released on the Xbox Series X. He believes that the current PlayStation boss is a little more open to certain things, hinting at the idea of experimenting with multi-platform console releases just beyond just MLB, the show titles, and Bungie's future releases. I think he's sort of been persuaded by the fact that Helldivers 2 is probably going to be one of the biggest games of all time. So I think they want a, they want a piece of the action and they obviously want to share it. I think this is uh, very good for Xbox. Nick clarifies that this doesn't guarantee that Helldivers will arrive on the Xbox Series X. All he's heard at this point is there are some preliminary discussions going on in this regard at Sony Interactive Entertainment. The talks could end up 
falling to pieces and there may not even be an agreement in the end. The podcast members all agree that Hell Levis 2 is a very Xbox feeling game and it would find success on the platform. I highly agree with this. I'm really surprised it wasn't like an Xbox exclusive, but Xbox lately have kind of pooped the bed with their exclusive launches. And yeah, there's, in my opinion, if you're an Xbox player, do not get offended. Um, Sony just kind of runs the uh, the console uh, gaming right now. Uh, yeah, Xbox kind of pooped the bed on it. Um, so recently in a response to a question from an analyst during a financial call, PlayStation president Hiroki talked about the opportunity to grow first party games via multi-platform releases. He said that in the past, the company wanted to popularize console, but there is a synergy to it. According to him, if console maker has a strong first party content, not only on its own console, but other platforms, first party can be grown and that can help in improving the company's operating profit. Um, going back to Toki's statement, Helldivers 2 would be undoubtedly receive a surge in active player count and online activity with the potential arrival of the game on the Xbox Series X, a live service game that thrives on a healthy community while the game has found success on PS5 and PC, opening the gateway to a third platform which strive to strengthen its long-term success. And I highly agree. Um, we would, I'm pretty sure everyone would love crossplay. Being able to play with people on PlayStation, being able to play with people on Xbox, having them all play together at once. I mean, Destiny have done it. Destiny have shown that they can do it. So I don't really see why other games can't really do it. I guess, honestly, the only thing holding games back is your game has to be popular. Like if your game isn't extremely popular, at most, I guess, places just aren't open to it because it's just not worth it, I guess. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I may have rambled quite a bit, but yeah. Um, other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic week, fantastic weekend. Um, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It will make my week um, as well. If you do want to win a copy of the Democratic Detonation War Bond, which is probably the best war bond that has come in a while, like the video, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe. Um, I've been using the grenade pistol a ton. It's actually my new favorite sidearm. See you guys in my next video. This